Okay, so this one's going out to my Commodore 64 subscribers and even passers-by. If you like what you see today, hit notifications and subscribe and like it helps my channel out a lot. Plus, I'm a massive Commodore 64 geek where you can find lots of C64 content in my playlists. So I'm talking about One Load 64 today. It's currently on version 4 and this one came out back in 2020. It's been on my to-do list, but I've just been doing other things on my channel. So here it is. One Load 64 is pretty much a project that someone's put together. And what this person has done is taken away D64 and dot tap loading times and put them into cartridge images. So multi-load discs and cassette images are now going to be instant loaders rather than waiting a few minutes if you're using an emulator. So this is on Lemon 64 which I highly recommend if you're a Commodore 64 fan. And if we just scroll down we'll see the included games which uh, this person's converted to .crt or cartridge image. And there's a lot of games here so I'm going to show you how to run this and where to download it. And this is one of my other favourite websites, Indie Retro News, and what this website is, is pretty much telling you about modern things happening or new releases for old retro platforms such as uh, the C64, Amiga, and on the left there you can see which systems this website talks about, even BBC Micro is there. So we can download one load 64 just here through Indie Retro News or you can go to the person's YouTube channel who made this project happen. But I'm going to just go to download and this is going to take you to a Google Drive. If you just download it here and as it says 527 megabytes so just download and that shouldn't really take too long to do. Okay, so we've now downloaded that and you should get an archive like this one. So this is a WinRAR archive and what I'm going to do is just create a new folder. So right click on desktop, new folder and I'm going to just call this one games and just drag that inside of games. Go inside of games and I'm going to just extract this. So right click on it, WinRAR extract here. Now, as you can see, as this is extracting, we've got all these .crt conversions, what this person's done. And there is a lot here. This must have taken this person a long time. Apparently, reading into this, he's actually used Vice and CCS64 in order to convert these into .crt images. So what we're going to do next is, whilst we're waiting for this, we're actually going to download Vice. So this is Vice and just assuming you don't have this. So we're going to download the latest version and I'm going to download the 64-bit GTK3. And if we just download on this, this is going to take us to SourceForge. Okay, once you've downloaded Vice, we now got a zip. So let's just look inside here and we've got a folder inside. This is going to be your Commodore 64 emulator. So just drag that onto the desktop. Okay, once that's extracted, we can now delete that .zip, get rid of that one. And what we're going to do next is just go into that GTK3 Vice, and the top subfolder you see is bin. If you go inside bin, right near the bottom, we're going to have X's, and each one of these represents a different Commodore 8-bit system. So the one I'm going to be using for this is S64SC.exe. And I'm going to make a shortcut of this so it's easier to get to. So right click on it, show more options, send to desktop. And now as we can see on the desktop, we got C64. So let's open this one up. Windows protected your PC. It's fine. So just go to more info and run it anyway. And here it is. This is the emulator itself with that lovely Commodore 64 blue screen. Now, if we go into the games folder that we just downloaded, which is One Load 64, literally called One Load because you don't have to mess around with anything, we've got all these games to play with. So let's just go through the list of these, what we've got here. So we got 180, and I'm assuming that's a darts game. What my dad bought when I was a kid, thought he was hipping with the times, but I ended up playing it. So we're going to try that one. I'm going to just drag the 180.crt into the emulator and check that out. Automatically loaded. 
So to enable my controller I'm using a Google Stadia Bluetooth, I'm going to just left click on joysticks, configure joysticks, and re remember that Commodore 64 games mainly work from joystick port 2. So just pull this down and choose your controller, and close. And if we go to preferences, you can either select full screen there or just double left click on the screen like this. And you might notice but under joysticks you would see a green light going around. That just implies that my controller is connected and it's in the second port. So that's 180 darts which I used to play a lot as a kid. So once you've got a game open, as long as it's in a window mode, you can literally just drag and drop. So if I unpause this, we're going to try Cyberdyne Warrior out which is further down the list. And to my knowledge, Cyberdyne Warrior was only on cassette tape. It could have been on disc, but definitely was never released on cartridge. Just find that. Cyberdyne Warrior. So, to do this, unpause and then just drag and drop like I'm about to. So let's check out the rest of the list. There's lots of classics here. And we got Demon Blue. Now, as a kid, uh, Demon Blue, I was really looking forward to playing that one. Uh, it was on a Commodore format, Power Pack cassette. It was only put on cassette tape. It definitely wasn't a cartridge release. So all this time later is still ridiculously hard. So you got lots of .CRTs going through here. A uh, Fire Lord, I'm gonna say again, this was only a cassette image, but we got it on .CRT here. And there's also game center I've just noticed. We got a 2022 game. So yeah, there's a ridiculous amount of games just there. And if we go into Multiload 64, we're gonna test one of these out. So Multiload meant that you had to keep switching discs around, stop and playing tapes, that type of thing. So we're gonna go for Armalite, which is the easy flash image. So, so I'm gonna just drag and drop Armalite. So very cool stuff. And by the way, you can use these images on pretty much any emulation device, uh, emulating Commodore 64, obviously. So loads here. And uh, yeah, it's gonna take the sting out of loading some of the games. Uh, something like something like Lethal Weapon. Uh, this one takes a very long time to load up. So we're gonna unpause.
So anyway, I won't get into that one too much, but uh, yeah, like I've been saying, there is a lot here to go through. And I was just thinking, if you've got a C64 Mini or C64 Maxi, these are also going to work on that as well. If we come out of here, go to Extras, Images, Loading Screens, we've got lots of screens here. And if you're using anything like C64 Forever, then you can likely incorporate or embed these into that program. And if we stay within extras and go to official CRTs, this is going to be all of the cartridge files that was actually released officially on cartridge. So lots here, including the God Forbidden Double Dragon Melbourne House game. And other CRTs, lots more here. And if we go into alternative formats and we go down to Easy Flash, just go in there. Let's try loading one of these up. So I'm going to unpause the game and I'm going to drag in volume one. And here we go. We got Easy Flash menu now, which I presume we're just going to press on a game and it's going to play. So let's just take a look what we got. And there we go, so it's a continuation. So let's try a little bit of Arkanoid. And should you get a loading screen when you're using these, if you just press on warp, that'll turbo boost your loading times. So there we go, and I'm going to just go to volume 9 to check that one out, and just re remember that you need to unpause this. And if we go inside our PRGs as programs, we've also got games inside of Crunched, and also inside of Uncrunched games. And also in tape car, we got more games. So let's just test one of these out. So and even so that's it for this little showcase of someone's project. Like you see, there's lots of goodness in this one download. Plus, if you don't have an emulator, then I've showed you how to set up the probably the best Commodore 64 emulator for Windows PC. So like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit notifications, like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. Plus, it gets you up to date retro emulation content. Also, check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram and Twitter. But until next time, stay retro. Thank you